Hello YouTube, it's Damien, it's The Road to Glory, it's episode 4 of The Road to Glory, and today we have got a big episode of Squad Builder Challenges, and everything of the sort, um, mainly because my because mum's sick, I'm not going to play as much online um, today especially, so I think in today's recording you're going to see us complete a lot of the Squad Builder Challenges, and try and get a good return, good profit back. At the moment the market's really interesting, a lot of players are really cheap, so it makes it really cheap to build these packs or the build these squads, which is good. Um, but also at the moment, like, silver players are really all going for a minimum, like, 450 plus. Um, with marking matchups at the moment, Belgian players are going for 400 plus. And, yeah, so I just think in that regard, doing it right now is not a bad time to do it. Get it out of the way where it's a bit cheaper to do. And if we do pack some players that I think are going to go up and maybe in price, it might be worth holding it for the next 48 hours. Full release comes out, all that comes out, and then we'll be okay to do it. In terms of a recap what's happened, I was actually going to give you a couple of draft online games, um, but I didn't do it because I pulled it because the content was a whip to A short, B vulgar. Uh, we had a second round loss. Uh, we had a pretty horror draft run. Um, we didn't even get 100 came in that draft. Uh, won the first game against the Spud, and then the second game... Came up against a guy that I didn't think was that great, but Sterling missed about five one ones We lost 4-2. It was just a bunch of swearing. So I decided not to put that up. And then in the next draft we did, I chose 4-3-3 three, three against my better judgment because it's been licking us every time we've played we've put, uh, on draft. We've only lost a 4-3-3, three, three, really. Um, and in the first round, came up against a guy that knew what he was doing. We lost 9-2. Um, so I didn't pull that in because I thought that was a bit demoralizing. So with that in mind, we still made 8K and 9K respectively on those two drafts. When you pull up the draft sync next, um, I'll show you those two profits that we've made. And with that in mind, I am trying to do all the squad builders, um, you know, for obviously a bit of profit, and Draft is helping with that as well. So, think in terms of everything going on around me in terms of not on FIFA, it might be best maybe not playing online today to, and maybe waiting till tomorrow when people are home to take care of mum or something like that. Um, plus, the internet situation here has been dire. But um, apart from that, we're okay. Think what we're first going to do, those we are going to do marking matchups. It does end in 18 hours, and then obviously we get a fresh one tomorrow. So I think doing it right now is not a bad time to do it, unless we don't do it at all. And what we are going to do is I'm actually going to show you all the squads that I've done, um, who I've bought in, and there we go. The goal for marking matchups, we had just over 55k, is to be above 50k when it's done. We're down to 54 um, 54k and change at the moment. Um, the only players that we had to brought in was the goalkeeper, which I've, at the moment Belgian players are going for a little bit. So 450 coins there. The left back we brought in for 400 coins, and I bought a secondary um, rare player from um, from the English League Two in Baptiste for 350 coins. Um, and with that all in mind, that's your squad built. The rest are all untradeable players that we had in the club or guys that we packed and kept. And, you know, in the terms of the last two rival rewards, um, well, foot jail for rewards, because I knew we were doing this, I only saw the players were going to go on a profit. Um, the round one loss in that second round draft, in that the third draft I did, or hang on, the, the draft I did last, and I went out in the first round, we lost 9-2, I got a gold pack, and in the gold pack, I packed Lemire, who's currently going for like 5, 5, 6k, and we sold him on, um, which is the main reason we made profit. But yeah, we're deleting all those people. That is going to be squad number one done for marking matchups. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut back to every time we've done the squad. Um, I'm going to go in order. Um, the rewards are small prime players pack, um, prime silver players pack, which I think could pack some good players. Prime election players pack, I might be getting silvers into because they're selling. Prime election players pack and a prime mix players pack. And I think the reward at the moment is a prime gold players pack. Now look, all tradable, all going to be able to make profit. We pull something big. Great. I have pulled some stuff in marking matchups before, you know, stuff that sells a little bit. And there's guys that are currently going for a lot, like a cheeky Anthony Amatrial, right? Or Martial, or however you pronounce it. He plays for Man United. I don't bother with the pronunciation of Man United players because they're all just horrid. Um, Liverpool fan, you can't tell. Uh, marking matchups, uh, I've packed some stuff before. Guys like that always pop in marking matchup packs, it seems, of the previous FIFAs. So to pick someone up like that right now for 190 odd K, oh yeah, it'd be great. But in truth, we might not pick up nothing, but because of all the silver players are currently selling and all that, think marking matchups the way to go. In terms of the rest of the episode, um, a lot of my chat is encouraging me to just go into um, the foundation stuff and just do it because it's so cheap to do. And I will say, if we can do it on the cheap side, you know, if we could do a lot of this stuff for less than the money that we have in the club right now, right? Um, it could be massive for us. Like, if we could do leagues of days and basic hybrid leagues for like less than 30k and make that all back and more we could really could do hibernations and league and hibernations in this video 
and the next minute if we pack anything out of that one thing we've got to make our profit back and it could be good it could also turn to shit we get nothing and then that's it as well youtube but in terms of this episode episode four is going to be basically squad builder challenges in terms of what i'm going to be doing today on the road to glory is where i think because of me being home home with mum just by myself i'm going to have to take care of her it's going to be a lot of on uh, it's going to be a lot of um of squad battles i'm almost having to play all 45 games that i have left on squad battles and then see where we sit and see what rewards we're going to get. In terms of rival rewards, I'm just going to let it go for this week. I don't care what rank I get. I'm going to get probably rank 4, rank 5. It's great to get any reward. And Division 2 is a lot harder than my 5 placement games. I'm going to give you that as well. Welcome back, YouTube. It is another part of the Squad Builder Challenger video. We have completed our second squad of the Marky matchups. And it is the Olympic Leon versus Marseille Marky matchup. We have eventually got there. The only player that we have bought... For this entire squad is going to be Rono. Um, took me a while to do this one, trying to use as many players in the club as possible so we don't spend it any money. In the end, Rono got him on bid of 350 coins, got there done, not a problem. The rest of that, as you can see, all un mostly untradeable, um, but a few tradable players in there, uh, a couple of the rare ones, cutting off a few Mexican players, which is always not bad because they're not worth much at the moment either. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with that. Uh, I think that's obviously just really easy. And really helps to keep this profitable for us, marking matchups as well. And hopefully the other few are a little bit easier. The main problem is, even then, I press right three times to submit that squad. Um, is that the menus are taking forever. Um, and that's starting to get on my nerves. Um, you know, we've been live for nearly an hour, I'm going to say. And I think I've spent more time trying to... Yeah, just over an hour. Um, we've been sports, more time surfing the menus, trying to move around into different parts of the uh, different parts of the you know menus to the transfers whatever then actually building the squad so something maybe i need to look at maybe once full release it might be a bit better as well but anyway part of this episode number two all done and dusted marking matchups is halfway complete we're going to finish it how much profit we're going to make let me know in the comment section below and of course youtube like subscribe and links down below come follow us live on twitch who doesn't love to see it Welcome back YouTube, we have got Leipzig versus Schalke done eventually, a um, little bit of clicking around, but in the end, we have a combination of some Spanish League 2 players and some Serie A players, we are there, as you can see, we're just putting in, um, I don't remember his name, but Mascarelli, or Mascarell, out there at right back, just out the way, and then in the end using Diego Costa, who, Diego Costa, Diego Castro, um, from Perth Glory, good old A-League shout-outs. And then um, we have obviously got some Serie A players linking up, some Spanish League players linking up, um, getting some good links as well. And we are there with two chem points to spare, which is always nice as well. But yeah, there, happy, loving it. Um, everyone there on 10 chem there as well, which is good. Um, and we're going to submit the team, and that is no dramas. And we've got one more to go, and then after we do this one... Um, yeah, submit that anyway, that's fine. Um, I probably should delete all of that stuff. And um, that's my concept squads, the view squads and stuff. Um, but yeah, we've got one more to go, which is Man United and Spurs, uh, which could be interesting, but I do have a lot of EPL players, I think, in the club. And then once that one there is done, we're going to have some nice rewards to get through, and hopefully we get some profit. We've got 4K to spend on this one here um, for my 5K threshold as well. So ideally, if we can do this one nice and cheap, we're not too bad. Uh, see you guys in just a second, YouTube, for the end product of this one, and of course, the packs from Marquee Matchups. Welcome back, YouTube. The quickest one to do was the last one. Man United versus Spurs. We have dumped a whole heap of untradeable players into this. Um, Williams is the only Man United or Spurs player being used. And he is tradable, but I only have one in the club uh, for Man United or Spurs. Didn't want to go out there and spend any money. We did this one for free. Everyone else untradeable. So Lascelles, Fernandez, Vestergaard, Townsend. Uh, I can't even pronounce the guy's name from Fulham, but it's like Aguissa or whatever it is. Aguissa. Um, Taylor, Wood, and Oliver McBurney. All untradeable. And then put two random untradeable an untradeable goalkeeper random, and an English untradeable and Biggins, um, just a bronze guy that's going to link up some people to give us the chem. Uh, saving Loftus-Cheek, even though he's untradeable um, as well. Don't need the chem, obviously, uh, and we could put Biggins in. And because Chelsea do have a couple of hard games in the future, me and the chat do reckon that they could get a marquee matchup and thus be used in that. So we're going to submit the team there for that one there. It's a big yes, a big W. In the end, marquee matchups cost us just over a K to do. Yep, get rid of it, it's all good. That's obviously from my starter squad, which we don't use. And I'm really happy with that. We got some packs at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, look at the lag there. Oh, jeez. 
All right, there we are. Premium gold players pack. Who's ready for some packs? If you're ready for some packs, hit the like button, boys, down in the section below. Leave a comment who you think our best player is going to be. Go, don't show me again on the first screen. Huh? I'm ready. Don't know what you're on about, Paul, but it's okay. You, you have absolutely confused me with that comment. Go, don't show me again on the first screen. And submit. Oh, no, I leave it there just in case I make a mistake. All right, so we're going to go into that. I've got Footbin at the ready as well. Um, just so you guys on YouTube can see what our profit is. Because there is some players going. Um, I definitely think we're going with the, the shittest one out the way first. And the rest we could pack something out of. So away we go. We've got Footbin at the ready. And there we are. Oh, I'm ready. All right, this is going to be absolutely nothing. So we're just going to get rid of that. Could get an inform technically that's uh, a base card as well. Wouldn't mind a super sort of Comet America card. We don't. Alright, so now it's a question of how much money we're gonna make back. Um we got a Spanish couple Spanish league players in there. We got a Portuguese league striker uh, as well. So let's have a quick look through if they're worth selling at the moment. So Luis Luis is currently coming in on footpin at let you know right now. One and a half so he's selling that's a ready profit, boys. So he's coming in at one and a half. I'm going to list it for one four and just take the money right now for one four. Straight off the bat, Footbin saying that. Done. Perfect. There we go. Then we got... Trad... I can't even... I'm not even bothering. We've got a Cosby. A, you know, a Kovsky, or however you pronounce it. He's currently going for 800 coins. Um, I don't see why we would be keeping him at the moment as well, so... Profit again on that. And I am actually going to move my chat to the other side as well here. Right. Just so people can... I can see the chat when it does. Damo, footbin's not accurate most of the time. I found footbin this year be really, really good so far. Uh, we've got Dickie as well. Rob Dickey. Great player on FM. Love to see Rob Dickey. Rob Dickey at the moment. English. Centre back, currently going for 900 coins according to this. I'm going to list him up here for the full 900 because I think English centre back from English League 2 will be selling. Um, worth keeping as well, you know, because there is the uh, SBCs that will come out later, but we'll probably pack him back. Molly Joe is a Spanish League Athletic Madrid player. Is he going for anything? 700 coins, we'll take that too. At the moment, not a bad start. Like, this is a great start, YouTube. Alright. Villar, another one. Uh, one Villar there. Oh, got the wrong Villar. On footbin, apologies. Uh, what's his name? There it is. Ivan Villar, not one Villar. Ivan is going for... Fight the Venture, I guess, a little bit as well, because he's a goalkeeper. 400 coins, not as much. Um, with that in mind, we're already making profit. A guy like this could be kept. Very tempted to keep him. And then Yamamoto. Because I think for SBCs in the future, that wouldn't be a bad card to keep around. Yamamoto, unless he's going for the dirt cheapness, I will sell. Yeah, 300 coins there. Right, I'm going to keep both of them, not a problem. All right, done. First one out the way. The baby pack's gone. We're making some profit. It's not bad. We've got a two rare gold players pack, which I didn't do for marking matchups, and we'll definitely put that in. A premium gold players pack, a prime election players pack, and a small prime and a prime mixed. I think we're going to do the small prime next. Are we getting a walkout? Are we getting something nice? Here we go. We're looking at that left-hand side. We want a broken door. We don't get that, and we're not getting anything really any good there. All right, we don't get nothing. We get absolutely jagged. That's okay. we got Eric Dyer. Which is not the worst. Um, Spurs players should be selling at the moment with their marquee matchups at the moment. So we got Eric Dyer. Should be going for at least a little bit. Is at the moment going for only 700 coins. Wow. Don't think it's worth selling for 700 coins. I would have thought that with the Spurs, um, with the marquee matchups, there we are. Uh, but uh, you can tell straight away, um, Mr. Shadow, if you know you're getting something good or not. Tadia, 
400 coins. MLS. Rightio. So at the moment, nothing really of a sellable note. I feel like that we are going to start storing a few things in the club for future. There will be an MLS um, SBC that come out, 100%. All right, going to get this guy up here. I would imagine this guy is not selling from the UAE, but have a look. So this pack, big garb. This guy's actually going for 600 coins. I'm going to try and get my 550 for him, just undercut the market here slightly. Don't know why I'd be worth that, but that's a good little bit of profit as well. Um, this guy in the Chinese League. I think he's in the Chinese League, yep. We got Gooch from Sunderland, who I did sell in my Bright Light Safe not long ago in last year on FM. Um, he's going for 400 coins as well. So, like, yet again, don't understand why he's going for 400 coins, but he's worth selling. Clickbait title is Mr. Shadows thinking about if you get something really good. But straight away, you know if it's a board or not. All right, I'll leave the next, I'll leave it for you guys in the chat. I'll just let it run, even though I know we're not going to get anything. Most times they're not. And then we got Gooch. 650 coins from the Sunderland guy. All right, 600. So salvageable in the end, um, this pack here. And then obviously we got a guy that I did use last year, named Nagby, as well. We've already got one in the club. Would imagine MLS is going to be one of those foot arc on swaps that they're back again this year as well. And Nagby currently at the moment going for 800 coins. So better than this good. We'll list him up for that and 650 as well. And we'll keep the other two guys as well. All right. Two down. Bit to go. Can we get something? Is there something coming? Premium gold players pack. Prime election players pack. Prime mixed players pack. Feel like we're going to go to the prime mixed players pack first and the prime election players pack next. Then the pro, and then the gold, and then yeah. Will we get something here? We don't. Nothing at all. Unfortunate. Not been the best pack opening, but for the boys, there you are. You get daily blind, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually not bad to pull an 82. Straight off the bat, I'm going to look blind up because we know he's the, the guy that's at the front. Anyone else there? Not really um, off the bat that I think we're going to sell. Daily blind at the moment. He's going for a little bit. We'll do it. Going for 3K. According to the foot bin. Any reason as to why Daily Brin's going for 3k? Saying the laws by now is 3 1. I'm just going to list him up for 3k and take the profit. That is really nice. And there we are. Alright, Valbuena. Next one. Yeah, maybe he's going because of the um, because of the Tenali SBC. But even then, like Tenali's SBC, I did for like a K and a bit. You don't need daily blind, surely. Just from your starter packs, you get enough. But Brenda's going for nine fifty. Interesting. All right, undercut the market about five hundred coins. If someone really wants Valbuena from Olympiacos, sure. And there we go. So at the moment, doing all right. Wu Lee grows a little bit on FM for those that don't know. Wu Lee. Oh, also got a not bad card. Unfortunately, he's in Espanol. Um, if he was in, you know, in the, um, if he was in, if he was in the, the Spanish League One, he would be worth something anyway. Um, we got this guy here as well called Pere Pons. I love the name, Pere Pons. We got Teorore, the left back one. The le left back Adama Teorore from Melbourne Victory. I just realised that. He's actually going for a little bit too in terms of, you know, discarding that. So 500 there. All right, making good profit. We'll say if they all sell for what we've lifted them up for, we're making very good profit. Teore, obviously, is the Adama Teore, but the wrong one. It is the one from Melbourne Victory. Um, I would imagine he isn't going for anything, but it's worth having a look. And we'll see how we go. 1-7. 1-7. Yes, give me my 1-6 and someone take him. 1-7, you can have him. 1-7, according to Footbin, you can have him. Kid you not? Kid you not? Before I go back, on, go back one page, I'll get it up on my screen, boys. Obviously, we're all Australian, so we're shocked at this. And there we are. All right. Guy's going for 500 coins, sure, we'll list him up. I think anyone that's English just generally sells, anyhow. 
I mean, for like their lows by now, so you don't need to undercut the market. Romero. Left back at 66. So if he's going for anything from Malaga, he might be, who knows? As it loads up, 300 coins, nope. <laughs> Korean League and Wu. Ruju Sung, anything? Let's have a look for Wuju. Korean League, Diada. 500 coins, we'll take that. We'll just undercut the market. Because I just think players like that are going to be hard to sell for their value. And then I think these guys are not going to be worth anything. But we'll have a look. Leonardo Velo, I would imagine, is not. Mm, that was a mistake. Yeah, get that back down. Yeah, nope. Uh, Kitchen. Would imagine Kitchen's going for nothing. Liam Kitchen. Forest Green. That would definitely have a marking matchup. There's always some weird. He's going for 1.4k. One point four k, and then his next lowest after that's one nine. Technically speaking, we should have listed him up for like one six, and probably awaited him out. But I'll just take the profit on him now. I'll take the profit on him now. And Zhu Tong, if the computer, it's currently uh, wants to pro um exporting episode three, so it's running a tad slow. 200 coins and lucky last, Kabir. Two hundred coins. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna keep him in the club. I'm just gonna put him in there uh, instead of holding him in my club because then I'll probably lose him. Not bad. This is a good profit. Already 57k right there. All right, prime election player, prime electrum players, Pat, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. And there we go. Just making sure the PS4 camera was on. Last year we packed Red Werner and I wasn't even on here. Alright. Can we get something? Oh my god, it's a walkout. We have a walkout. French. CDM. From Chelsea we got Kante. Just pulled Kante like that. Walkout Kante. See you later. Clip that in the chat. We have our first walkout. And it's Kante. The chat is going ballistic. The chat is going. We have Conte. How much is he going for? Look at this. The chat is going sensational. We get Conte. And that is unreal. I'm just going to put that on my Snapchat to the boys. And to the boys, whilst we're on stream, we have Pat Conte from Marquee Matchups. Unreal. There we go. Get that away to the lads. Oh, baby. We are happy with that. Unreal. What else is in the pack? What else is in the pack? As we move forward. We get Ginter as well. How much is Kante going for? Let's just do this all together. And Golo Kante is currently going for. <laughs> Profit made. Profit made. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Getting that on my Snapchat. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Wow. I am double checking that. I'm just going to move him up into the transfer list. The rest I don't really care about. That is huge. Ginter now. We just went and went bang with Kante. Oh. Wow. Ginter's going for 2 4 as well. The fun we're going to have with our little squad. Man, what improvements are we making to our little team? Can I just say, Perez might be going for something, but I think he's going to be worth keeping around in the club, to be fair. Yeah, I think Perez would be definitely going to keep in the club. Bats Hawaii as well.
Look, we're not here for this, are we? We, we just packed Kante. We don't need to care. That's a rise Chelsea card. Oh, yeah, I just realised he's at Palace. Ah, we're not here for this anymore, right? I will look at all these guys off the YouTube episode because we don't care now. We, we just packed Kante. We packed Kante. It does not matter. We packed Kante. He's going for 389k. We're double-checking that. Don't open the rest of the packs. We're just double-checking that Kante's going for that. We just packed Kante. And look, we could build into a Kante. That's true, too. That's something we could talk about, but I think it would be mad not to sell Kante with how much he's worth right now. Golo Kante. Just realised I didn't put the extra free in. Wow. Free 90? 390 is lowest on the market. Like, this would be... We're selling him. We are, we're selling him, aren't we, chat? Just double-checking what the chat wants to do here, but we just packed Kante. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. We are, we are selling him. Keep to release. Is that a shout? Do we keep him to the release or we just take the coiny now? That is massive. His price will skyrocket after release. But more will flood the market, won't it? I'm not sure what we've got to do. Alright, YouTube, let's get back into the packs. Because, hey, we could pack something else here. We could pack something else here. Back-to-back -back walkouts. Um, we'll do the premium gold players pack, see if we get something out of this one. Kante, unreal, job done. Another one? Nah, not another one. Not another one, unfortunately. Get Wendell, back, brought back down to L, brought back down to Earth. I'm gonna now be listing players now for the rest of the episode off screen, because it doesn't really matter. Um, but saying that, we've done what we needed to do. It might be worth keeping these players in the club for future SBCs now, as well. That's something we could do, is keep all these guys in the club. Um, and this two-player rare gold players pack was from Objective, so I don't think this is tradable. I will take a walkout, but it will come. It doesn't come, which is unfortunate, and it isn't nothing either. That is not good at all. We get a, another one of those Super Comet America cards. Super Comet America. And Vitolo. And they're both untradable. Wow. So yeah, I'm thinking what we're going to do is I'm going to go back into my transfer pile, keep the fodder, and have a serious chat with the boys. Have a serious chat with the boys if we're going to sell Kante now, or we sell him on full release. But that is massive YouTube. I'll see you guys for when we complete our next SBC. Welcome back YouTube. It is now our second part of the YouTube episode after we've done the marquee matchups. Obviously still in a bit of shock that we put Kante. We've been talking about it with a few mates, a couple of lads that I know release content too that do some trading and the stream. And we're very split. We're very split on buy, sell him now, build a squad now before prices rise on full release. And also limits the, um, limits the impact on just in case if full release comes out, a lot of Kante's get packed and his price does crash because a lot more come to the market as well, which is possible. And then there's the other way that you think about it too. We hold on to him, and we hold on to him till tomorrow. He goes into the market because everyone wants the meta. He goes up, we make more money, but also the players that we may want to build are going to go up in price because full release hasn't happened yet. Or we wait a whole entire week, right? Weekend of, you know, weekend link comes around, wait till next week, when weekend league comes around and just sell off on the Thursday, the Friday for weekend league and it could skyrocket again. It is really, it depends. We want to build another team. We have a lot more going on. Use the 400k, no dramas. Or do we want to go and obviously sell him, um, um, sell him obviously either tomorrow if his price rises in full release, risk that it may go down Right, or and then, and then if that is the case, wait till weekend league comes around and hope he skyrockets with weekend league. Um, but yeah, we also need um, the Brov car to finish off our squad here. And there he is, and he was going for 1 5. Um, this is the thing as well is 
SBCs are really cheap. Uh, but yeah, and we'll tell you what SBC we are doing at the moment here as well. We are doing the Hybrid Nations one. And we are finishing off right now the one that gives us the 50k pack. We're not going to open that straight away, that 50k pack. It will be said, I will be opening them all at the end. Um, and I've had a lot of luck in um, in rare mega packs uh, in the past. So that's what we're after. And one five, we get a couple that come up. We're going to take that one there. Nope, we're going to try and take this one here. And we do. And that will be the team built as well. So we had 60k and... We put this place in the foot bin, and it said it was going to cost us 16 to 18 k And I think we've done it for just under 13 because we've got a couple of good snipes. Like we, Johnny Evans got for like 1.5. We sniped him for 700, which was really nice. Um, and then a few like 100, 200 coins below what they are at the moment. I think like Marcus Alonso and that. But yeah, Hybrid Nation is what we're going to complete. Um, the rewards are an extra prime players pack, um, which is not bad. A gold players pack, a prime gold players pack, and a rare players pack. Um... None of the packs that we really care about massively apart from the rare players pack, but a rare mega pack I've had luck in in the past. FIFA 18, the only time I packed an icon came out of a rare mega's pack in this exact set. It was Hernandez. So, not saying, and we, look, we packed Kante before, but that's your team. The players that we have used is an untradeable um, Berg, uh, a tradable Dyer. He, I expected um, Spurs players to be selling, they weren't. And obviously, Mitchy Batsawai. The rest we bought um, all, you know. I think the most expensive play that we paid for there was Joel Matip for like two and a half K, um, but the rest not bad. Um, we also need to go and get chemistry sorted, and that's very easy to do here. Um, I already have a left back, the left wing back card for Alonso, and I have a left wing, a right back to right wing back card for Serge Aurier, and that gives us the chemistry that we need to submit this squad. So the hardest one of the hybrid nation ones done, that is a 50K pack in the club. Uh, I know a lot of people want me to click yes and don't show this message again. I have a history of accidentally putting in your best players in first and then making the mistake that, oh, I've put in maybe a team of the week or something that I'm using in my squad. I've done that before. But yeah, that gives us a 50K pack. That is done. I'm not opening that one straight away. I'm opening them all up at the end. I know that that could also be, you know, it could backfire because I could pick up some players that I could need in the other ones, in the final four, six of the best, and the elite eight. Um, but at the same time, if we go and buy those players and then pack them in the 50K pack, we're just going to sell them back on anyway and make our money back. So it doesn't matter. All right, YouTube, we'll be back when we've done the final four, six, or the Elite Eight, whichever way we go around. Um, I usually go just in order and just go around. But because around the world is so difficult usually to do, or it's the most difficult, and it's the one that I'm going to pour the most coins into, I just want to know how many coins we had to work with. Obviously, doing that for 13K is really good, especially with how cheap it is. I would imagine in a week's time or after full release, that's going to be something about like 40k plus to do to get that 50k pack so i'm really happy with that and with that in mind i'll see you guys in just a second for another little part of our sbc building episode here in episode four welcome back youtube up to number two of squads completed here in the hybrid nations we have got the final four done and dusted and we've done it for 350 coins all the players we have in our club are the untradeable or pack pulled obviously in the marquee matchups and then we needed to go out and buy this bronze center back from Portugal just to give us the chemistry that we needed. I uh, could have probably used any Portuguese player. It was 350 coins on the market. The, the cheapest bronze um, players were 300. So I searched for 400. That was a goalkeeper 300. But extra 50 coins, just so we don't sweat. I don't care. 350 coins to get that one there done. No dramas at all. I'm really happy with that. Yes, submit that, please. Yes, please. Put it out there. Very nice that we had a perfect link, um, by the way, uh, with Aramat. And I don't know who the striker is on the top right-hand corner there. Same nation, same club. Always nice to see. Both get 10, which is always, always nice to have a perfect link. And there we go. Perfect. That is done. We now got six of the best and the Elite Eight. And once we've done both of them, we're good. We are guaranteed an election players pack. We are guaranteed a rare players pack. And um, I cannot wait to see what else we can pack as well. In terms of the Kante situation, leaning towards selling, but at the same time, also not. I'm still undecided. Welcome back, YouTube. Six of the best is done. Did make a quick mistake with this one here. Um, did think an English centre mid would have worked, thinking they're going to get seven chem. Obviously, no loyalty and no manager, Damien. So we wasted 200 coins on an English bronze centre mid. 
from English League Two. As you can see, the perfect leap between Coverley and Troy Deeney does work really, really well. And then the English left mid comes in and gives us the chem. Uh, but yeah, obviously not too bad. The rest of it always all done. I didn't want to really drop in Mess players because obviously Mess was the team he did Football Manager 2020 with um, this year. Amazing save. Highly recommend. Go check it out. Lots of drama. Um, cheeky little plug. But um, yeah, six of the best. All done and dusted. 75 minimum team rating. Just about got there. And obviously 85 team chemistry. We get there with the 86. And we're very, 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 very happy with that. And obviously we're going to submit that. That leaves us with Elite 8 to go. And after Elite 8, boys, we have got ourselves another few packs. And at the moment, I said I wanted to spend about 30k for this. At the moment, apart from the money spent here on Around the World, we have currently done this, for at the moment, 12k. And we have got packs back for it. So that's incredible. I'll be back once we have done with Elite 8. And then I think what we're going to do is open the packs. And I might be the end of the YouTube episode then, because I think... We've been squad building for a while here on Twitch. Links down below, of course. Uh, but yeah, um, it's been about four hours in between helping mum and all that as well. So, and then we're going to get in some gameplay and stuff. But that's for the stream. So if you want to check out the stream, down below, chuck us a follow. Past the thousand follower mark. So if you want to come and be part of the train, that's the place to go. Welcome back, to YouTube. It's the final part of episode four, a blockbuster episode that's already had Kante in it. We should have finished Hybrid Nations now. I will say the Elite 8 one was definitely the hardest one to do. It was, it was very, very difficult. Uh, we tried doing it for what we had in the club. We didn't. Um, in the end, had to spend a little bit of money. Vertonghen for free, free. Um, the menus are running so slow, so I'm not going to really go for it. Vlad for 800. Quartes 1-6. And Borgia 1-4 was the players we needed to get. Um, I tried everything. I tried using all sorts of players to get in and just to do it. Um, in the end, nothing didn't really work. Very nice to know that the Santos there at centre mid, the left wing as well, Tony Martinez at striker, all untradeable, and the right winger we did pack in one of our other packs as well, but obviously didn't have to pay for him either. So, look, at the end of the day, it's cost us, what, six or so K to do? And obviously the Premier League squad cost us 17K for a 50K pack, and then the other two squads were about a K. So, what, we did it for like 25K or so, 20K? Like, we're not too bad. We complete Hybrid Nation. We get a rare Mega Pack for that one there. I feel like what I'm going to do is... We're just going to list all the stuff, mate, whilst I am still on stream after the episode. We're just going to get through this. And um, we get the packs in. And no, Mr. Shadow, you ran well. And I'm on time with the packs. So, there we are. So, about 20-odd K to do all of that. Wasn't bad with all the stuff in the club as well. Yeah, the last one killed us, you know. Obviously, to get the 50K pack, by the way... To get that done with 17k, unbelievable. And then the last one killed us. All right. So I feel like the one we're going to go with here first is the gold players pack, then the election players pack. And then, yeah, oh, we'll get the election players pack out of the way first, I reckon. And then, yeah. Um, I think guaranteeing profit, probably because of the 50k pack, we should get profit. Anyhow, we're looking for this to light up. Um, don't get anything, really. That's anything good. Um, Carlos Soler, great stuff. Who really cares? Um, and then, yeah, we'll try and make our profit back on this one here as well. Um, might keep them for fodder. Um, these guys here, they'll we'll definitely look to list up. They're all selling at the moment. Um, but I reckon what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep anything that's like fodderable as fodder. See if we can use them in any of the other SBCs um, as well. But that's really it. Then the gold players pack, obviously, we don't really care about. But then the last three are the three big boys. And we're looking for 20-odd K profit is what we need. Oh my god, it's a walkout. We have a walkout. Spanish. Cam. From Real Sociedad. Who's that? David Silva. There you go. Another walkout. Take David Silva off the bat. Don't think he's going for anything, but we'll have a look. But we'll take a David Silva. So we have two walkouts. Is he currently going? Oh, that currently suggest that it's not bad. Can't go for like 7k. Definitely put him in the transfer list. The rest will be fodder. But there we go. Not bad. Alright. Prime goal players pack. And away we go. Back to back walkouts. Back to back walkouts. Could we do it? No back-to-back -back walkouts. 
in the end, we get really pretty poor pack. Don't think there's anyone that's really going to be worth anything in here. Um, Emre Chan has got... Oh, no, it's Kadira. Never mind. They look very similar. Um, can't read names because I'm Damien and that's me. Marlon could be going for a little bit for starter squads. No, he's not. That would be interesting, I reckon. You could probably get them in. Um, oh, we we saw, we got Williams and then sold Williams. Oh, we'll put him in an SBC. So we get Williams back. Can't have gone for anything anyway as well. Um... Unless Rully's really worth something, that's all going to be fodder again. And we'll just pop it in to another SBC. Rully, really, at the moment, has got a lot of bids. And I haven't seen a buy now yet of lower than 10k. I highly doubt he's not. All right, 1k there, yeah, probably worth going in. We might try and sell Williams as well. Um, and I think people may take Kamara because of his speed. If he's selling too, he might be a couple k maybe. No, he's not. All right, number five. Um, Alright, so the rest obviously going straight back in as fodder. Kadir is 1 1. Um, yeah. Alright, rare players pack or the rare mega pack? I've had more luck in rare mega packs. The rare players pack is the big 50k. -er. Which one do we want to do first, boys? Let me on chat. Rare players or rare mega? Rare mega, rare players. What do you reckon? The stream's about like 10 seconds behind. Save the mega for last. All right, rare players pack it is then. We want to do, uh, and, and we want to see it. Come on, come on, broken light. No, no broken lights. Brazilian, center back. Atletico. Philippe, 84. I don't know if Philippe is going to be worth anything. He looks decent on paper. It wouldn't be bad of a shadow. Oh my god, we got Manolas! Get in! Constant Manolas is in the pack. Costa, how are ya? Yasu Costa. Hey, hey, boys. 15k, that's profit. Saying that though, maybe we sell Kante off and we just build an absolute crazy Serie A squad and use Costa. Definitely going to move him in there. And let's have a look at what Philippe's going for as well. Philippe not going for March at the moment. Could be worth a little bit more later. I am going to move him into the trade pole too. Um, anyone else here that worth anything? Campbell shouldn't be. Gambian. At Everton could be because of starter squads and he's got 78 pace. Yeah, I think for a couple K, we're definitely going to have to have a look. Gleason Martin shouldn't be selling. It's not Gleason Martin's anyway, it's Oppa Femby. Damien, 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 Damien. Yeah, nah. And I think the rest we're keeping. And Kadira, we've already got one of him, we'll put up there. All right, rare mega. Are we getting a walkout, or is two walkouts enough for the day? That's the question, boys. Get ready for it. Get steady for it. Off we go. Is that a walkout, or ain't it be? No broken light. No broken light. Broken light. Broken. No. Frick off. That's not what we wanted. Brazilian, centre mid. Uh, Polinio, Renato Augusto, and Renato Augusto. There we go. Sigh. Rare Mega lets us down. Richarlison, though, comes in. Nice. Ansu Fatty as well. Just after he's coming out of packs. So Richarlison at the moment. Why is Richarlison so much? Why is Richarlison so much? 4-5. Wow. And Fatty should be going for a bit too. Wow, he's 35k. What a pack. And Ansu Fatty should be going for a little bit too. Ansu Fatty isn't going for anything. Probably sellable though, Ansu. 
Todd could be going for something too. Good old Todd. Good for me on Football Manager. He's going for a little bit too. A absolute mess legend. Carla Angelotti. How are you, my good sir? Love him in real life, even though he coaches, um, coaches Everton. Quarters we just bought. Um, as well, Hardecki. Renato Augusto, I would imagine, is not going for anything. He's run clear. Yeah, I thought he's, um, yeah, his inform was yesterday. Was Fatty's? That was yesterday? Oh, yeah. Costa's going for a little bit too. Might list him up. Big, big profit. Yeah, Richarlison, big pull. Big pull on Richarlison. Hideki not really going for anything. Could use him as fodder. And then we'll just have a look what we got here in terms of contracts and that. Injuries, all that. English League, perfect. Spanish League, Spanish League, Spanish League. Jeez, that's nice. Arsenal away kit, keep that. Arsenal stadium theme, inter stadium theme. Don't think these things are selling. Just double check, you never know. Wow, nothing of the Arsenal stuff on the transfer market. Inter stuff on the transfer market? Why? Wow, Alright. Look, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. But I will list them up for 5k pops and see if they go. Yeah, I think we made on Richarlison. Because Richarlison was so much, I think we made a fair bit. Anything else there? Colour Ancelotti might be selling, but I'm not going to do anything with that. Wow, that is huge, boys. That is massive. What an end to the episode. Have a, just have a quick look at the transfer pile. Have a quick look at the transfer pile before we end. Couple of things still selling. All that's sold from previous packs. Got things currently still selling, and we've got that going. I would imagine these two aren't selling for 5k, but they weren't coming up in a search. No, that's because you can't search specific stadium theme. And these guys have buy hours of 1.7 and 1.2, so we hope. Kante, Silva, Philippe. Augusto's going for a little bit. But then you come over the page, you've got Manolas and Richarlison. Like, yeah, we are. Thing that's definitely a sign that we may move the squad into a Syria R full Syria R squad, getting Costa Costa in. That 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 is very tempting. All right, from Dave and everybody else here. That's the end of the YouTube episode four. What an episode! Absolutely massive profit, two walkouts, and that is massive. I'll see you. I'll see you guys for episode five. Episode five is probably going to contain. Some sort of form of rewards from Divi Rivals, depending on what I do there. And it is going to contain probably what a new squad looks like after we sell Kante. And I reckon, after getting Manolas, we're probably going to go full Serie A. But I'll keep it in mind. We'll see what we do. See you next time. Thank you and goodbye.